Hello everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you so much for coming to my video today. So I just bought this whole entire table full of jewelry right here at a yard sale this morning. And we're gonna go through it. It's uh, mostly HSN stuff. I have a piece of Hope, I have a Givenchy. I have some very, very interesting things here. A lot of Honora pearls. I think I'm gonna be going back tomorrow. They had a lot of jewelry there. I tried to buy the whole collection, but it got cost prohibitive. Anyhow, I'm gonna show you some beautiful pieces I got. So let's dig in. Thank you so much for coming. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. Let's see what I got. So let's start out with this really beautiful carved coral necklace. The woman went out of her way to tell me that this is not carved coral. She actually went out of her way to tell me that. So um, I believe it is carved coral. So what do you think about that? That's just my opinion. Uh, these findings right here are 14 karat gold. It is marked 14 K G S J. That's the maker. I think this is really a truly, truly beautiful, beautiful necklace. I think it's beautifully carved. These are nice big beads. Isn't that nice? So not a lot of money because she said it wasn't, you know, wasn't coral. And then it also came with these matching earrings. So these are new. Uh, I don't think anything here has been worn actually. You'll see what I mean as we go. It's just really all brand new. She even said like her mother didn't wear any of it. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I love this carved coral set. I think it's absolutely stunning. So there were so many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces at this sale. I was trying to be fast. I grabbed this bracelet and I don't think this one is sterling and turquoise. So I guess this was just sort of a bad grab on my heart, but that's okay. I got a lot of really great stuff. So that's no problem. I thought maybe it was real because everything else was. Uh, I also got this liquid silver necklace, which is really beautiful, I think. I didn't see a maker's mark on it, but this is lovely. I love that sterling silver bird. Isn't that pretty? This is probably from the 70s or the 80s, I would guess. I don't know if this one is HSN or QVC. I actually should check that out. I would think if so, it would be marked with the maker, but that's very, very pretty. Barrel clasp. Here's our liquid silver beads. That was pretty too, I thought. So I got this station necklace. That R with the crescent moon right there is the signature for Carolyn Pollock. And that's also called Relios. And I believe this is QVC. So this is called a station necklace because all those groupings of beads right there just stay in place at their own stations, if you will. This is a very, very pretty necklace, don't you think? I really love it. So let's dig into some of the J. King stuff. So J. King is a very famous designer. He is also a personality on uh, HSN and his company is called Desert Rose Trading. And there's the mark for Desert Rose Trading. They're based in New Mexico and he really is big on these Southwest designs. They do look Native American and uh, he's really also into mine finds. That's a line of jewelry. I believe almost everything I have here is mine find. That's hard to say. <laughs> but I got this incredibly beautiful pendant. I think this is reversible too. I think you could just wear it like that, right? Why couldn't you? Or like this. I just love this giant bale. So these beads fit through there, no problem. And it also comes with the earrings. Now, uh, I believe all these pieces you know, new in the box with their pouches. They all come with this too. Everything's new. So I really, really love this. I believe this is called pink rhodonite. Uh, I believe that's what it is, but I haven't really had a chance to delve in. I mean, I have to really deep dive into all this stuff so I know what it's called. So when I go to sell it, you know, I'll kind of know wh what I've got. This one is pretty too. I think this is a really interesting stone. Isn't that nice? Again, with the big gigantic bale, sterling silver. This is also mine, mine finds. There it is, mine finds by J. King. I really love the lengths on these too. Hopefully you can see right there, it says DRT for Desert Rose Trading, and then there's the 925. His pieces do have some value. There are avid J. King uh, collectors out there. So I'm really happy to get a lot of this stuff. I just love it. I love all of it.
So here's a really completely beautiful necklace. Yeah, I'm gonna try to zoom out a little bit. How pretty is this? I love these stones and I love that they're graduated too. So as you get closer to the hardware back here, the beads get smaller. That's really beautiful. I just love that. I love the different types of turquoise, the different shades. Okay, let's see what we have in here. It says green bracelet, but I don't think that's right. Yeah, so I don't even think this one is sterling. So this was in this box with the J. King thing, but I don't believe it is. It doesn't look the same, right? I don't even think this is, well, I don't know. This might be turquoise. What do you think? How light or turquoise? I'll check it out. I'm not sure. I'll just take a further look into it. It is still pretty, anyhow. Either way, I like it. I think it's a great summer necklace. see what's in this one. This one's beautiful. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is green turquoise or something else. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to have to check. Oh, this has the matching earrings. I didn't even realize that. And the J. King uh, paperwork is underneath here. More graduated beads. I just love this shade of green. Isn't that lovely? really really pretty I love that I don't know how much money I'm gonna get for these things but I think um, I think a lot well I don't know we'll see let's see what's in this one. Oh yeah I love this one look at this beautiful rich rich red coral some of the coral is carved and some are just these round beads I think this is beautiful and here's his catch that he's known for. Let me make sure it has the same marking. Let me let me just make sure. It does. That is marked properly. What a beautiful necklace. Really pretty. I think this is supposed to go in between like this. Yeah, I think I just have to kind of fix it a little bit. I think it got a little bit twisted. I love that. I think that's really, really beautiful. The thing I really love about red, especially like a darker red like this, is I think it goes with a lot of colors. It almost acts like a neutral in a weird way, I think. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love this necklace. So there weren't many rings there, but I did pick out a few. And here's the first one I will show you. How beautiful is this Victoria Wick ring? I believe this is HSN, maybe QVC, but that looks so real, I think. Isn't that so gorgeous? Very nicely made. This is 925. That just looks very, very real. Really beautiful. I love this and you know, new in the box. So I love buying Hobe jewelry. I believe this one is from the 1980s. Look at this. This is really a special piece. I'm gonna put this on my eBay page for a couple hundred dollars, I think. This is just really, really special. Look at the colors. I mean, that certainly looks like it's never been worn. Doesn't that look like it's mint? Do you even see a mark on any of those stones? I don't. That's just amazing. So yeah, I love that. Let's see it on the with the black background. That one's really, really beautiful. I was really happy to get this one. Now I got some Honora earrings and um, I know these do sell for a little. I've sold Honora in the past and they had a lot of other kinds of earrings too that were Honora, but I think these were the prettiest ones. So I got these white dangles, pierced of course. And I got these, those are sort of uh, pink, I guess, right? Yeah, those are pink. Beautiful shade of pink, I think. And what color are these? These are the blue ones. 
Tomorrow at this estate sale, it's gonna be half price day, so I'm gonna to try to get there first. They had a, a huge box full of empty boxes too that were all like QVC boxes and HSN boxes, so I'm gonna to try to grab those. Um, oh, look at this. Wait to see this pretty bracelet. This is really, really lovely. This little thing right here, this uh, protects your silver so it doesn't tarnish. I don't know if you've ever seen those before. Kind of a cool thing. But I think this is really an incredible, incredible bracelet. Look at this. Brand new. This was never worn for sure. What a great, great bracelet this is. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Let's get back into our J. King here. OMG on this. What do you think about this? Wow. This is a big old wow right here. Look at these beautiful turquoise discs. This one is so chunky and so bold. Isn't that lovely? I hope you can see this okay. Copper and turquoise, what a beautiful combination, right? Wow, I love that. This is very heavy too, really, really nicely made. And this comes with matching earrings too. And everything also has uh, their bags too. I think there's bags like this, uh, pouches, the cards, the boxes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is another one that just uh, is neutral too. I think I'm trying to think of a color this wouldn't go with. I don't think there is one. Look at all those, that turquoise. That one's stunning, I think. Really, really special. I love that hammered copper. Beautiful piece. Let's see. Oh, here's another ring. Let's see what this one is. Oh, oops. I love the price in there. Um, so <laughs> this is beautiful. I love Camrose and Cross. I believe this is also HSN or QVC. It's always good when they come with their certificate of authenticity. Very nice. And um, yes, they're really known for doing these Jacqueline Kennedy pieces. It's a reproduction of a ring that she wore. And you can always tell because they say JBK on them. There it is, I think. Yeah, JBK. And um, I believe it's sterling, you know, with gold over it. Vermeil, right? I believe it is. Well, I can't see a mark, but it is certainly at the very least uh, gold plated. That much I will guarantee you. But how completely beautiful is this? Can you imagine having this in the real deal? <laughs> this really does look real. And I think it's very cool to think that Jackie Kennedy, you know, wore this. Oh, and I also got these, you know, um, that's right there. I just have to put that back on. But these are really uh, great pearl studs in all the different colors. They had a lot more Honora stuff that I didn't buy. I was just trying to buy the best of the best. You know, once I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to pay like what the amount is that they wanted to, to buy out all the tables. Uh, I figured I would just cherry pick the most beautiful pieces. So that's what I did. Oops, I kept, sorry, I kept the price on this. Um, so like they had a lot of the Honora pearls that I didn't think were that pretty color wise. So I was just trying to take the most gorgeous ones. And I think this one truly is one of the most gorgeous ones. I really, really appreciate and love the sort of bronze color, the green color. And then this is sort of like an, a beige, but it, it's a little bit in the pink family. This is a nice, nice long necklace. I'm not sure what the length is. It may be opera length, I'm not sure, but very beautiful, brand new, in the box with its pouch. Take a look at the other two I picked out. This one, yeah. 
I either have this one up or I sold the same one. Oh, bracelets. I did not even realize that. Okay. Um, wow. Now I hope I didn't sell the one that I had. I don't know if I did, but I think this, these might be the matching bracelets. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, they did do a deal for me because I, I bought so much stuff which I really appreciated. But tomorrow on half price day, I'm really excited to go back. I mean, hopefully they found more stuff too. I asked her a couple of times. I'm like, do, do you have any more? Or is this all you have, you know? Um, oh yeah, I love these colors too. Look at the blues. What a beautiful, <laughs> sorry, tacky. I kept the prices on some of them. I thought I took them all off. It needs to be trimmed a little bit. How beautiful. I really, really love pearls. I just think they're a magnificent thing. Really vibrant and beautiful colors, right? This is really a very, very pretty little bracelet. I love this bezel setting. And this is such a pretty color blue, such a pretty shade of blue. And I love these sort of teardrop shapes. Now these are likely Swar Swarovski crystals. And this one is the Givenchy. It is so glamorous though. And I think it really harkens back to that sort of Hollywood 1950s, you know, Elizabeth Taylor, Grace Kelly look. I just loved it. I don't know. I just love the color. Brand new too, you know, which is an added plus, of course. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see what's in this one. Oh, this is killer. I just love this coral stuff. So first you have these coral earrings. We're back to our J King, of course. This beautiful pendant. I just love the flower in the center there. Isn't that nice? And then this, look at this necklace. I just love those stones. I love everything about this. Isn't that so nice? Let's put that pendant on there and just see how that looks. This is nice too that it's adjustable. I mean, it's actually quite adjustable. It's a little bit tangled. Let's get that, rid of that, okay. So let's put the pendant on there and we'll see how that sort of slips on. This color is also like another very neutral color that would go with everything. Here's that nice gigantic bale, clearly marked inside. I think it would go either way, will fit, right? Will this big thing fit in there? Yep, it sure does. I think this one may be discontinued. Actually, I think a lot of these are discontinued because I went on hsn.com to try to look some of this stuff up and I really wasn't finding them. I think he's been in business or he's been on HSN for 25 years. So who knows? I don't know. But isn't that pretty? I love that. I wonder what this looks like on the black. Let's test it out. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Don't you love that? It's great. Do you like that one? I really do. Don't forget to tell me what your favorite ones are. I'd love to see that. <laughs> you know, my favorites are not your favorites, probably. Let's see what's in here. This one feels heavy. Oh, yes. What is this? I don't know what this stone is. It's incredible. It's carved, I think, beautifully. What I really like about this necklace is the fact that it has these turquoise spacer beads. And I think that I just, I don't know. I love the color combination. I love the pink and then that really uh, vibrant blue color. And the pink is sort of muted, you know? That's gorgeous. I don't know, I might have to keep this one. What do you think? I should keep it, right? Really pretty, really heavy. How many compliments do you think you would get? I mean, this isn't something you see. This isn't just your ordinary thing, you know? I don't really think any of these J. Kings are. They're just so, so beautiful and different, I think. Let's see what this one is. So this box is a lot bigger. Yeah, all right, so this one, this is copper. And I thought somebody might like to have this. First of all, I love copper jewelry. I love the warmth of it. I love the feel of it. I think this is really, really pretty. 
And then there's one of these rigid necklaces. Look at this. How pretty is this? Put this on here. Yeah, this is something else. Like, how different is this? This isn't something you're going to see. You know, if you go out to dinner with your, your husband or your girlfriends, this is just not something that everybody's going to have on, right? This is going to sit right at your collarbone. Really beautiful, beautiful collar necklace. I just love this beautiful item. Let's see what else is in these big boxes here. I will put this away properly later. One of these has something really gorgeous in it. Yeah, this one's really nice too, actually. But wait to see the next one. So I don't know what kind of stone this is. This is very, very heavy though. Really a beautiful shade of blue, I think. And again, with the spacer beads, I just really like the whole sensibility of the design of this one. I think this is very, very nice. It's very smooth. It just feels really good in your hand. Really nice, big stones, big and chunky. Gorgeous, I love that one. I really, really love it. This one kills me. <laughs> Wait, do you see this? I love this. Whoa, what is happening here? Look at this turquoise. Yeah, she paid a lot of money for this. She really did. And one thing I really appreciate about it is this magnet <laughs> closing, you know? I really like that. Very, very easy to take on and off. Graduated, beautiful, beautiful shaped stones. And it's just completely, completely beautiful. This one to me really has almost an Egyptian flavor to it. This one's killer. I think I might keep this one. I love it. Okay, moving right along. What's in here? This is another really pretty one. This one is more delicate. I think that's turquoise too. I do like this. It is more feminine, not gaudy, you know, the way I like them. <laughs> Very pretty though. I really like this one too. Yeah, her daughter said she never saw her mother wearing any of these, um, but she said she certainly did enjoy them and she loved to have them. So, you know, yeah, what the heck? If you love it, you love it, right? Here's a QVC. Oh, okay. Now they, they put this together. This is not a set, that's for sure. This is pretty. Those are pretty earrings. You can tell they're not gonna be worth much. Why? Because they're not special, you know? I mean, they're very lovely. Look how pretty these are. Very, very nice AB uh, crystal beads. Very sweet, very nice but you could just tell, you know, it's just not special enough. It's not different enough. And then came this. This is special enough. This one is different enough. This one is unbelievable. Look at these cube beads. Of course, that's all sterling in between there. This is incredible. Look at this toggle in the back too. So this is 925 Su Suarte, or Suarte, Indonesia. And uh, this is beautiful. I love this toggle right here. I love everything about this. Not graduated, these beads are all the same size. And they are glass, these are not plastic. Love that, so this says QVC, it comes in a QVC box. Artisan crafted sterling silver jewelry from Indonesia. Yeah, I'll have to just look this up. Uh, I don't know. Beautiful. What a beautiful thing. And here's that thing again. That sort of uh, thing that you, you put this in here and then your silver won't get tarnished. I don't know. Would you wear that in the front? You certainly could. Why not? No, maybe not. Maybe that should be in the back. I don't know. I love this. Talk about going with any color, right? That's just gonna go with any color you have. Let's put this on the black. That's beautiful, really, really beautiful.
So this was possibly a mistake. You know, I love KJL. I really, really do love his stuff. He started his company in 1963, I believe. He designed for a lot of stars. Barbara Bush very, very famously wore his pearls to one of the inaugural balls, uh, which was really something, you know, because he was a costume jewelry guy. Uh, but I sort of said to myself, I don't know if these are gonna sell for much. And the reason is, even though they're KJLs, not that different, right? Not that special. I mean, they're gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but are they quirky enough? Are they special enough? Um, and I sort of thought no, but I, <laughs> I bought them anyway because I like them and they weren't a lot of money. Uh, but I could probably only get about 15 or $20 for these. But I think they're beautiful. I love these sort of faux pearls. I love the how big they are. They almost remind me of... Um, gumballs you know but they have this really beautiful iridescence to them and i just love all those pastel colors so and you know new in the box i mean i don't know how could i not get it how could i not very pretty all right so this is the third ring what is this one again so i think this one might have been um not a good buy either because i don't think it's anybody uh i think it's just like a generic let me see if it's a qvc one maybe this is a good one i don't know it's marked 1sg inside and it is sterling too but i just i don't know who that is so i'm not sure it's very beautiful and so when i say like was it a bad buy i only mean from a seller's point of view the same thing when i say oh this is uh, an inexpensive piece you know it's not like a slight or or a uh, not a slight but it's not an insult to anybody It's certainly not an insult to this woman to just say, well, you know, this one was not one that was maybe as high end as some of the others. Um, this one is high end, however, I think. Look at this silver and turquoise. This is kind of amazing, actually. Nice and heavy. And I just love the sterling on it and the turquoise, carved turquoise. Isn't that just like crazy good? I love this. Now this is signed, um, this is not a J. King as you can see, let's see what this is. So this is another Indonesia, I think they have HSN or QVC had a line or has a line of Indonesian silver. This one is special, I mean these almost look like pumpkins and then you have this sort of uh, filigree stuff here where you have the silver and then the kind of absence of silver and it's see-through and it's gorgeous and it's just beautiful all the way around but it's unusual you know and that's really what people like to buy something that you just can't walk into Walmart or Kohl's or Macy's and just pick up easily right people like unusual pieces that they're going to get compliments on and that they feel really really good in so that's why I'm all about kind of picking up stuff that's just um, a little bit left of center, you know, just a little bit different. And I think this one, this one is home run, I think. I love that one. Beautiful, right? What's in here? I have no idea. Oh, all right. I love this, actually. This is a really cool necklace, I think. This is a J. King. Now we're getting used to seeing that. Now if we ever see this, myself included, we will know that that's J. King. Now the funny thing is, uh, well not a funny thing, but I was a little bit surprised that I have never heard of J. King before. And I think I sort of know my way around HSN and QVC jewelers, but um, well, apparently not, because <laughs> I had no idea who he was. I had never seen or heard of J. King. Of course I asked, I said, geez, do you have any uh, Joan Rivers? And she said, you know, a dealer just came and bought all the Joan Rivers pieces. So, um, oops. Anyway, uh, I don't think that is in the right bag. I don't think that was seven. Uh, but anyway, that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> so somebody came and took the Joan stuff. I really love Joan Rivers jewelry. But this is a very, very pretty bracelet too, isn't it? Magnet closure, which is really nice. And there's our mark right there. You probably can't see it, but that's the Desert Rose trading mark. This is really pretty. I really like that it has this sterling piece here other than just having the, um, the turquoise only. I really love this. And that's just dynamite that it has that magnet closure. 
And then there's this little bangle. What do you think about this? This is nice too. Really nice. Hinge bangle opens. Oh, let me see. It's a magnet, but there's the mark right there. Really nice, right? And that's the reason there's zero tarnish on it. Because of this. Really cool little thing. I'm sure you could probably buy a whole thing of them on, uh, <laughs> on Amazon or something. But, you know, I really like tarnish. So, to me, like, when you get tarnish on a piece, it just, it took years and years and years for it to get there. So, I kind of hate to just wipe it off. But this is beautiful, too. Look at these sort of lavender stones. The light purple and this is just a really, really beautiful pendant. Just gigantic, so nicely designed. The other thing I really like is that you don't have to wear this pendant on here, right? I mean, you could just wear this necklace alone and you could take this pendant off and put it on a sterling silver. I mean, you could do whatever you want with it. That's kind of cool about it too. I really like that. I like all of, all of these. I'll try to find the original boxes when I go back tomorrow. Hopefully they'll be there. And, um, oh, okay, yeah, so let's look at some of these things. Oops. Okay, so I got this little, <laughs> this little bunny rabbit. It's a trembler. I love trembler pins. Uh, she did actually have a lot of pins, and I think they were a dollar, but they weren't good ones. And this one wasn't a dollar. Uh, this was in a more expensive area. And, uh, but I really, really do love this. And it is signed uh l l j i think that says i tried to look this up i couldn't find one like it but it's really really cute i love it look at his tail nice rhinestones right i loved that one and then i picked this one out because well first of all i think it's beautiful i just love everything about this i love white and gold together i love the rhinestones then these little tiny white stones I don't know what those are. I don't know if those are seed pearls. Probably not. But this is a Dina Cola. This is a newer Dina Cola, but this is a very collectible item. So that's why I picked this one up. Plus, I thought it was pretty. I have more um, Dina Cola, you know, that I have gotten in the past that's really old and valuable. I mean, that one really sort of isn't, but I still think it's beautiful. And that is a great name brand to buy because there are collectors for it. Now, this one, interestingly, isn't signed. And I think she charged me a dollar for this. This is another Trembler, which I love. It's a little Bumblebee Trembler. And there are a few pearls missing, unfortunately. But I think I should be able to replace those. But I really like the sort of construction of this. And I love jewelry that moves. And I love, you know, when you walk that this little bee would kind of be bopping around a little bit. Then these were in one of the boxes with one of the necklaces. So these really super pretty earrings. Let's see what they're marked. I think they just say sterling on them. No, they say 925 tie. But I think these are very, very pretty turquoise and marcasite little earrings. So that was good that they were just in with something else. Now, I bought this. Uh, I think this one is really, really beautiful. I probably wouldn't have bought it, though, if I saw that it is a Charter Club. Nothing against Charter Club. I love Charter Club jewelry. But I was thinking uh, that this was a vintage piece because she did have some vintage jewelry there. But I think it is newer. And it is just made to look, you know, made to look like it is vintage. But it isn't. It is still gorgeous, though really beautiful and brand new. Now where, look at this. That's really pretty too. And this also has a big pendant. Now this is another one of his um, reversible pendants. So we have this one side with the inlaid shell. And then you can just wear it on the plain side too. So I think it's really nice, it gives you that option how pretty that is together. Very neutral, very, very beautiful. This one is beautiful. Um, I don't know 
who this is. I did see a mark on it, but I wasn't sure. Um, maybe we can figure it out together. Let's see. Hmm, 925. Is that a CO? I'm not sure. I don't know. I've never heard of this name brand, but I thought this was very, very pretty too. New in its box. Isn't that nice? It's a really pretty necklace. I love that some of these sterling beads have a little bit of detailing on them. I love the spacers. I love pink and green together. Isn't that nice? So the first thing I thought when I saw this is this was probably a QVC item and it isn't. This is a Napier, believe it or not. This is a newer Napier. I believe that's Napier. I think that's what that says. This is a stunner, really, really a stunner. Can you imagine this on a black dress? Just beautiful. Brand new, not a mark on it, wasn't worn. Look at that. That's amazing. I love the height to it too. So nicely constructed, really and truly. I love that so much. Oh, and then guess what else I got? I got a Solia. So I've only ever had one other Solia before, and now I have another one. So this was, uh, this is a Scandinavian piece of jewelry originally, and it's sort of hard to see. Let me take this off. So, oops. So as you see, when you hold it like this, you know, these things just sort of all dangle down. I don't think this is real. I don't think this has ever been removed, but maybe we'll just remove it. Should I? All right, I guess so. This is just a beautiful piece and it's new. That's what I really love about it. A seat clasp. This looks like, you know, it's never been worn, but just looking at this box and this card and everything, I would think this was probably from the 70s or 80s, but that's just sort of a guess. I could be wrong about that. The other Solia I have is an antique, but I really, really love this. Talk about movement, right? And, and how unusual this would look if you wore this. I just think it's so stunning, really, and very, very different. That was a very exciting find for three bucks, right? And did we do this one yet? Oh yeah, look at this thing. This one's really special. I don't know if this was supposed to be like, I guess those are flowers, but they're very starbursty. Look at that, pearl and clear rhinestones, just completely gorgeous. Now this is, uh, who is this again? Ann Klein. And you can see on clearance, it was $39.98. Yeah, it was 50 bucks. There you go, kind of like this sort of thing. Isn't that beautiful? I love the height on each one of these things. This one to me is really sort of a cut above. I love that. I love Anne Klein jewelry anyway, but I think somebody's really gonna wanna have this. I think it's very, very stylish. So I think we're down to our last four boxes, I think. I think I showed you everything. I will double check, but I think this is, this is it. Um, look at this. This is unbelievable. This is gigantic. So statement-y, so sort of runway, right? First of all, the beads just on this necklace part, I think are incredibly beautiful. Each one is just sort of a, a work of art, you know? Everything has different coloring, different striations. It's just beautiful, but this pendant is just to die for. Sterling, of course, it's, it's J. King. You could probably tell that, right? I mean, I bet you other manufacturers make a similar one, but I could sort of see that mark from a distance now. I'm kind of recognizing it, which is good because now going forward, I'll always know. Hopefully you will too. That's one of my favorites right there. Really beautiful. Okay, three more. This is beautiful too. Look at that turquoise. That is beautiful. I think I just heard the dog chewing something. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> she wasn't. I have three little chihuahuas. I just could have sworn I heard one of them crunching on something, which is always dangerous and scary. Um, anyway, these are beautiful. Now you can see this turquoise is really big. 
No two alike, right? You will not have two of these necklaces alike. What a beautiful, beautiful stone turquoise is. I think that's stunning. Okay. Oh. Now, this is reversible too. Just the, the plain side and then this side. Um, I'm guessing this is turquoise. Maybe it isn't turquoise. You know, stones are kind of not my thing, so I'm going to have to really research these hard before I list them. But this is beautiful. Another of our J. Kings, of course. Wow. I mean, you could wear this with so many different things, I think. Just that pendant part. Not graduated beads. Which I think is real. I suppose I should say non, <laughs> non graduated beads. There. Okay, now we can take a good look at that signature actually because this is sort of a bigger surface to look at it. And this one came with the matching earrings. These earrings are actually really sweet too. All right, so I have one more thing. Thank you for coming, everybody. This was really fun, right? I just keep getting very, very lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know what their pricing was like. I, I didn't understand, like, it, it was strange because there would be, uh, they had like a liquid silver necklace that had nothing going for it. It was just the beads and a couple little, little tiny things of turquoise. And that was like 25. And then this was eight. You know, so it, the, the pricing really was very inconsistent, I thought. And uh, like I said, then she did knock some money off too. I'm going to definitely keep a couple of pieces and then sell the rest. Now, I'm not sure what kind of stone this one is either, but this is abalone right here. But what a really pretty heart pendant that is. Don't you love that? I do. Well, I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I hope that... My videos make you smile a little bit and just make you forget about your troubles for a little while. Jewelry always does so for me. It just is a big, big stress reliever. I just love it so, so much. I hope you do also. Hugs and kisses, everybody. We will see you soon. Have a wonderful day.